Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, awakening for divine in the flesh. Now with the replays on IGTV at Takini.kiz, where together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, composing a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures in our true sensual sensorial universe of seven senses, creating formless into form outside of the matrix. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, selecting the all setting so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Maria West, and I am your hostess of the highest. Here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest light, your bestest and brightest selves, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still as I uh, struggle to find my glasses. Hello, darlings. Hello, my love bugs and my honey bunnies. I have been on an interview and podcast binge train of late. <laughs> New friends and colleagues and fellow shit disturbers reaching out to me and collaborating and inviting me, co-creating, thanks to one great work and network. Uh, it's so funny how so many truthers and fledgling truthers are shocked at my presence, a woman, because apparently there aren't that many women uh, like myself out there spreading the good word and uh you know it's like dudes really i have been around since before many of y'all were even born but that being said divine timing my loves is always perfect so this is the perfect time welcome to episode 119 and in this video i address the topic of mass consciousness free-floating despair, fear, and anxiety. Since the onset of the Tsevenoinsen, I've received many texts, direct messages, private messages, uh, emails, and calls about the free-wielding, free-floating, and seemingly escalating anxiety and fear during the last year. And uh, especially now, for some of you worldwide, this fear and anxiety were some what alleviated by the hijacking of the vice house yeah by the bona fide pedophile psychopath satanists and his sex and race race baiting fake feminist compulsive liar running mate yes blindly adhering to the left right center brainwashing paradigm so typical in sleeping Human stuck in the fucking matrix, allowing and giving these criminals a pass because of TDS. Yes, look that one up. Whilst more of you on the other side of the aisle have fallen into a more profound sense of fear and despair because of this hijacking, genuinely believing in the faux messianic powers of the previous tenant to be the one to save us all and his truly remarkable strides forward in outing pedos and trafficking notwithstanding okay no one is coming to save our asses my friends not the aliens not the angels not anyone you've got to save yourself. And you know what? I have to admit to my own disgust at the utter brainwash stupidity of humans that leaves all children and truth and freedom at risk because of this new, you know, heads of states, along with the folly of seemingly intelligent and uh, I erroneously assume semi-conscious folks falling for these demons. Okay, but I digress. I've got to like tone it down. So one of the things that I've been working on, I play with that negative slide, the worst case scenarios. And uh, those of you who have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box in the show notes below. Okay, because you really got to go there. 
all right? So in this digression, I gotta wake myself up, see myself, see reality, exit the fucking matrix, enter into my center screen and compose a different reality. Okay, that is having been said, y'all are in a mess in the matrix, okay? And these emotions are pervasive after any trauma in general. So let's talk about massive trauma, okay? So this massive global shit show of Zevenoinsen and the American Schwarz, yeah? With its various threads of trauma-based mind control, collective and strategic gaslighting notwithstanding, is extraordinary in its massive spellcasting of doom and gloom by the satanic cabal, right? The consistent triggering of confusion and panic, along with the ever-increasing anxiety and fear, not to mention the uncertainty of lockdowns and no lockdowns and more lockdowns and easing up of the lockdowns only adds fuel to the firestorm of doubt and despair. Like, when the fuck is the other shoe going to drop? How long is this going to last? Are we okay? Are we all going to die? Okay, the resulting cause and effect of more and more humans checking out in alcoholism or a haze of drug-induced smoke or big pharma scripts for mood enhancement pills, along with entertainment as in the Netflix and the Amazon Prime addictions of series and movie binging, online shopping frenzies for those with disposable income, not to forget the increase in domestic violence or spousal and child abuse running rampant, unchecked and unchallenged behind closed doors. Also, the powers that want to be are criminally defining whose love livelihood is essential or not. What the actual fuck people. And I gotta say, I gotta say, and this is my opinion, those of you bragging and gloating that your livelihoods have been defined as essential whilst others are not, fuck off. Fuck off. Okay? How dare you fall for that massive triangulation by the psychopathic demons who are running the world and the matrix. Check yourselves, okay? Everybody's livelihood is essential straight across the board, you fucking moral relativists, okay? There, I said it. I know so many entrepreneurs and honest people, all right, whose lives have been fucking devastated and totaled by this bullshit because their livelihoods are deemed to be non-essential. Are you fucking kidding me? Wake the fuck up, people. Okay, not that I give them any credence, but for those of you who do, that Tse De Tse says that since the beginning of Tsevenoinsen, there has been a threefold increase in the number of people struggling with anxiety and fear. And we're all being gaslighted and triangulated to turn on one another, all right? Now, for myself, as a trauma-based mind control activator, not aligned or associated with any psychological constructs or any licensure certification echo chambers, here's my take. Now, we have all suffered from some kind of trauma, probably from our childhoods and our upbringings, uh, from school, from society, from religion. Now, remember that the sum of all our parents' dramas and traumas, or any other authoritarian figures, known or unknown, regardless of whether or not these people were actually in our lives, okay? Unless we are one of the few blessed and raised by parents and by societies who have done the great work before our conception and our birth, chances are we have absorbed and integrated these traumas and mind control programs as our own. All right, and until we do the great work and dissolve these tribal programs and authoritarian programs and all the traumas and all the mind control completely, we are fucking stuck in the matrix and subject to all the automated scripts and programs of that tribal and trauma-based mind control wherever they originate from. And we are compelled to obey them and recreate them. And we don't even know we're fucking doing it. Within the matrix, we experience increased despair, anxiety, and fear as the collective and 
individually, all right? And the increased pain, anxiety, and fear that escalates that people are experiencing aren't just about what's going on in the world within the matrix with this whole shit show of 719 und so weiter. It's also because the current traumas are triggering to the surface all the old and unresolved traumas from your past, okay? And this is the past that most people don't realize. They're not even going to do the work, okay? So when we feel anxiety, hopelessness, and fear, the first temptation is to find something to distract ourselves with. We take a pill, we got a prescription because we don't want to feel it. And and then, of course, the medical community is going to tell you that, you know, you shouldn't feel this way. Oh, my God. Okay. These feelings are uncomfortable and no one wants to feel them. However, all right, when we indulge in distractions and addictions to mask these emotions, we end up digging a deeper hole for ourselves because these distractions become sentinels to keep traumas protected and to keep you from getting to the core of who you are as infinite loving awareness and consciousness having a human experience. So you get trapped and buried in all these traumas. Now, during the last year, you might notice that you've been unconsciously pushed and pulled as if by a magnet toward addictive behavior such as overindulgence in work. If you're working, uh, alcohol, drugs and substances, natural and pharma, sex, porn, food, gambling, shopping, social media, etc. You are not alone, my friends, okay? Most people, most humans that are stuck in the matrix that have not done the great work have fallen into some form of distraction to cope with the overwhelm of stressful emotions and incessant thought forms of doom and gloom. And all past unresolved traumas, what happens is that they are frozen and stuck in the nervous system and the time-free zone. Did you get that? All right. And what happens is that our resistance gets lowered, our immunity, physical and spiritually, energetic and emotionally gets lowered. And as more stress is experienced in the present, which by the way, is already in the past. So don't fall for the power of now. And this gets consistently triggered and activated without pause it becomes even more challenging, my loves, to clear the past's built-up tension. We need to deal with the past to have more energy to deal with what is unfolding so that we can wake ourselves up, see ourselves, see reality, exit the matrix, enter into our center screens, and compose a new reality, which has nothing to do with the present frame of what you are witnessing in the world or reacting to in your head, okay? When we're creating a reality, what we're doing is we are actually designing, composing the upcoming frame, all right? So it's not about the stuff you don't like. It's about composing what it is you truly want and giving yourself permission to have it. All right. If you've been through a lot of relational dramas and traumas and shit shows, i.e., you know, those toxic relationships, it is important to work on healing that anxiety and fear and traumas caused by your past. Otherwise, it will keep you stuck in loops or caught in the repetition of the same old toxic, shitty dynamics in your new relationships, okay? So I'm going to link my videos on journaling and burning exercises at the top and at the bottom left at the end of this video for your engagement, uh, along with my great work series probably down there. Okay. I'll figure it out. Okay. If, and I will also in the show notes, uh, have links to both versions of my book, F wide open, the root awakening of the heart based new humanity, which has a lot of, uh, journaling exercises there. And also the book of Leslie Temple Thurston, um, which is called the marriage of spirit. These are great support books that you can engage all right, honey bunnies, my loves, that, my special babies, is my speech, okay? You are not alone. 
So please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, for those of you inclined to do a deep dive in excavating and deactivating traumas, please also help me grow my channel by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comments box below, or in private, you can email me. I promise to return your email and respond. Please also share this video with your community, friends, family members, and social media platforms and with folks with whom you feel would benefit from my content or at least be entertained, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all settings so that when I upload the YouTube will let you know, I'm also uploading onto the platforms Float, Odyssey, Library, BitChute, and One Great Work Network. And if you find value, enjoy, or benefit from my content and videos, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation, my PayPal link is below, as is my link tree, which hooks you up with all of my stuff on various platforms and the many different ways that you can connect with me, work with me, study with me, train with me, and purchase my books. I thank you all so much for hanging out with me, with your participation and your focused attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this work without you. So until next time, my dear hearts, always act from love outside of the matrix from your center screen, composing a new reality, quantum jumping your lifelines. Yes, let's do it so that you can be the love that you are. You can share your love, create, make art, make music, make love so that we can repopulate the true creation field universe. Here's to love, truth, and beauty, my waking gods and goddesses. Mwah!